Hi, this is Samir Pradhan from Control Trends India. And uh, year 2006 was a very significant year from a building control standpoint because that's the year where Schneider Electric made its entry in with a big bang in India. And whenever Schneider makes its entry, it casts a spell. I am right now excited because I'm sitting next to the global vice president of the Eco Export Expert program of building management system. I would like to welcome Martin Feder. Thank you, Samir. Thank you. Uh, Martin, we have been in discussion for some time and we've got some great ideas. We exchanged a lot of notes together. Yes. Uh, tell us, tell the viewers about Schneider Electric it's, and its engagement in India so far. So, uh, in, as you mentioned, in 2006, uh, Schneider made some very strategic acquisitions mm -hmm. uh, to really focus on uh, the building management HVAC integrated solutions market, mm -hmm. really to complement its core business, which was electrical distribution. Oh. Because even back then, it realized the vision that eventually the building management systems will become what we would call the hub of intelligence within the buildings. Sure. Uh, so it acquired several com uh, companies, mm -hmm. including uh, Andover, mm -hmm. uh, which also owned CSI at that time from the USA. Uh, it acquired the Swedish company TAC, okay. and it also acquired a section of Invensys, uh, which included the company Satchel Controls, mm -hmm. who'd actually already been in the Indian market since the mid 80s. Uh, so we've had some experience, sure. but really, as you said, in 2006 was the big step forward where they brought everything together to really attack that market segment. Excellent. So this engagement goes a long way. About what? If, if I say 25 years, 20, 25 years? Yes, I would less. say. It's had the experience mainly from, I would say, discrete controls, mm -hmm. the traditional controllers that we have at home, uh, but not in a reg residential market, mm -hmm. but in, in a typical BMS2. I would say learning more and more uh, using the influences that we've seen from other markets moving towards the really truly integrated solutions even though we've talked about integration for many years yes. it's truly now i think with the technologies on board the yeah. standardizations okay. that we're moving into that segment far easier okay martin uh, system integration and system integrators are the building blocks of the automation pyramid in, in your opinion how has the uh, outlook of all the stakeholders in india typically uh, like this end users talk about can consultants change today or has, has it changed today at all or not? I would say it has. I, I, I see some trends very uh, similar in India as to what have happened in other markets whereby you go back 10 to 15 years ago and the consultants and the building owners would typically want to just work with the big manufacturers mm -hmm. um, and consultants would not really entertain the system integrators, I would say, because they were probably more scared about financial, you know, how long are these companies going to be around, Could, are they got the skills and the capabilities to do so. Yeah. But there has been a very clear trend and shift by, I would say, probably initially the investors, mm -hmm. because it's their money, yes. and then following are the consultants, because they're seeing that trend, for an acceptance of system integrators. And there's a good reason behind this. First of all, the integrators, I would say, are more disciplined mm -hmm. and probably have a better relationship with the building user. Sure. Uh, consultants and end users have seen that. Sure. But more importantly, I think the uh, end users want choice. They want to have a choice, especially when it comes to what I would call services mm -hmm. uh, and maintaining the buildings. Because not always going to the manufacturer and then I'll be open enough to say being tied to that manufacturer, they want to have choice and opinion. And I think also the manufacturers have realized that the partners are bringing far more value and have more local knowledge yes. than the big sure. manufacturers. Sure. So there's definitely this trend and I, I can see it happening also in India. Yeah, because early days when I used to be getting into systems integration from my partner company, uh, you know, we used to have a lot of these uh, doubts and, and apprehensions, I would yes. say, you know, where, as you rightly put in, the financials would be a problem or they could talk about, well, would, do they have it, what it takes, you know, to take my project to, to conclusion. Correct. And I think that's, that value is something. And I think that last statement there, I, I think our partners and system integrators bring projects to conclusions far more often than the big manufacturers. And I think that's just down to relationships and the dedication 
of the system integrator to say, this is my commitment to you, I'm going to deliver this project the way that it was specified, and then prove it. And I think that's a big difference. Excellent. Uh, in terms of value proposition, you know, because everywhere the trends are, are emerging, you know, you have good old days, you had some very rudimentary controls, you know, have standalone controls, we all started a few years ago. And then suddenly the trends have been rapidly changing. Yes. So from a technological value proposition, what do you think you, Schneider Electric would like to propose in India? I think in terms of building management systems and integrated solutions, I would say the key value proposition we have is ease of use. Okay. Uh, so it is partly techni technically driven, but I would say more than anything else, it's about bringing the right information at the right time to the user to really add value. Sure. My experience tells me over the years, even in what I would call really developed BMS markets, is that the BMS system is not used. And when you ask the question why, um, it's, oh, I don't have time and you know, I, ha you know, I have other things to do. But when you dig into it, yes. it's, they've forgotten how to use it. Yes. Or the system was delivered the way the manufacturer or the integrator wanted to deliver it and not how the end user wanted it. So with the technology today we have with phones and apps and you know, uh, web pages and what have you, we, we've deliberately designed a system that can be so easily configured and designed yeah. so that the client can decide what is the information I want and where. So that's, I would say, is probably our biggest value proposition and we did a lot of research on this, is really make it easy to get the information, my information that the user owns, sure. I mean he's inve inve invested in the BMS, at the time that he wants it. Sure. A uh, lot of talks I hear in the market, in the Indian market, about IoT and you talk yeah. about the technologically advances, midst of cyber security, for example. Yes. And that's a key uh, issue, issue because up till now, cyber security was, you will agree with me, was only confined to IT. Absolutely. And there was very little talk or there was no talk at all on the OT side. Yes. So we were very vulnerable, vulnerable as far as the BMS systems were concerned in terms of, you know, being hacked and, and you know, which could lead to huge business disruption. Absolutely, uh, so, I, I agree. But so on the IoT of things, I would say that the, the, the use of the words Internet of Things and IP technology has been very easy to throw around. Yes. And traditionally in the HVAC building management markets, we've always been a little bit behind. But now that our applications are becoming more critical, mm -hmm. we talk, for example, a data center, Absolutely. and as you just mentioned, think about the consequences of somebody hacking into that system and changing just a simple set point. Yeah. I mean, you could cripple a business, yes. and the impact on the bottom line could run into hundreds of millions. Yes. So, on that side of things, we're also seeing the IoT really influencing our uh, product development strategy, yeah. with the cyber security constantly yeah. a major, major influence. But what we're also seeing is that there is a trend where the, I would say, the intelligence of our systems are moving further and further down into the field so that you're actually getting decision making done at a, a valve and actuator level, okay. no longer just at the controller, yeah. but the energy control at that level. So it is affecting very much our design, yeah. uh, it's affecting the way we're thinking about developing our products, and it means something I think yourself and myself have been many years in this market, we've seen being talked about for many years smart actuation, yes. intelligence in the field level, sure. and, and the trend is definitely that way. Yeah, so we would see a lot of these things coming into the Indian markets very, very soon. They already have, the talks are already in the air. We see some, some sporadic installations being ha ha happening at, 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 with every manufacturer. I'm sure Schneider is taking a lead. Um, Martin, uh, what is the kind of a message that you would, from a system integration point of view, because that's an eco export program? Yes. Could you just talk a little bit about Certainly. the program? Because I Absolutely. think that excites me. Absolutely, yeah. We're, we're very excited in, in, in terms of the, what we've just been talking about, and we've realized that there is this clear trend uh, of an acceptance of specialized companies, we call them system integrators or partners, that have got the skill sets from you know, a mechanical world from the HVAC. Uh, perspective of things to a true building automation IoT system and these system integrators really are critical to the future of delivering what we all want to achieve which is energy savings. 
So our Eco Expert program really encompasses all the major divisions of Schneider Electric, where we look at critical power, uh, distributed power, uh, we're talking about light in the room control, BMS, and the network connectivity that goes with that. Um, and our program is really designed to, to bring, I would say, competency to the market. The technology is one thing, but the Eco Expert program is all about being able to deliver at a repetitive level across the globe to key clients or even new clients a level of intelligence that when they're looking for a partner to deliver a system, the client knows what he's going to get. I, I mean, I, I would be bold enough to say it's like a cellular phone. You know, when you buy a brand, you know what you're going to get. We're trying to achieve the same thing here with a, a program of skilled associated companies, we're calling them eco-experts, that have got the knowledge that we need, they need, to be fair, for them to be profitable, for us to obviously have the business acumen as well from that, but at the end of the day, to deliver to the client's needs. And that's what that's the real aim of this eco-expert program, whilst encompassing, when we go back to this IoT, where the BMS, building management system, is kind of the digital hub yeah. of the building, Yes. And not just what we always used to do, yes. which is the fire, the security, but also the electrical distribution, yes. the energy management, Absolutely. really bringing everything into that. And that's what we're trying to achieve with this Eco Expert program. This is something different that I normally see or hear in the Indian context, I have to be honest, because, uh, and I give, give uh, Schneider full marks for the initiative that has come in. Uh, do you have a message for our viewers from? from the SIS, the, the, the industry at large, because you come with a huge experience. Sure. You have been, you've been traveling all over across yes. the globe. Yes. And you have seen these markets for a very long time. Yes. So do you have a message for the viewers on control trends? I would say in terms of where we were 20 years ago to where we are today, we have become very much a forefront in the energy management and I would say building design concept. Whereas before a building management was a black box controlling my air conditioning, today it's become a key part of the delivery of a functional and efficient building. And it will affect the performance of that building as well as the performance of the people, which means bottom line cash for the owner or the investor in that building. So I would say in terms of a system integrator, the future is really bright probably brighter than it has been in the last 20 to 30 years because without your skill sets, without you being truly able to deliver a solution, we will not achieve what I believe standards will require, your legislation will ask for it, and we will see an effect. You know, Energy is becoming more expensive and the consciousness of the investor and the building owner is going to switch more to you. So I would say go out there educate yourself on the systems and solutions in the market, invest invest your time in learning your skills because there is a profitable business behind this, for sure. Excellent. Thanks very much. I appreciate and thank uh, Martin. I uh, thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, really. And uh, we would see, we would like to have more, some more pledge from your side. Certainly. In terms of support. Absolutely. Uh, for control trends and the new initiatives like this, because we are trying to, you know, get all the back, back backstage boys onto the front stage we're sure. just discussing where we're talking about you know we're trying to promote people products and technologies and uh, i hope we would have more engagement from schneider absolutely Absolute. as we go along thank you so much for the opportunity and, and thank you for your time for listening thanks a lot. thank you thank you very much